So, anyway, here goes Chapter 11 of Dungeon Crawler Carl 5. This is just not acceptable, Carl. I like my butterfly charm. It makes it so fairies like me, and it is pretty. It's part of my fit. I don't want to take it off. I don't see why I can't just wear two charms at the same time. Stupid Angel the Cocker Spaniel had like four or five tags. Fuck me. Stupid Angel the Cocker Spaniel had like four or five tags on her collar. She jingled like a bunch of rusty cowbells being dumped down the stairs wherever she walked. The system only lets you wear a certain amount of magical items at once. Otherwise, Katya could grow a hundred arms on her back and carry around five hundred plus one rings of strength. Strength? It's ugly. And the gym is turquoise. Turquoise! Do I look like an elderly woman with smoke-stained teeth sitting in a bingo hall? Do I look like an elderly woman with smoke-stained teeth sitting in a bingo hall? <laughs> snitch! Nobody likes a snitch. Nobody except the popo. It's not complicated, but it sometimes takes a minute for them to reset. We'll have to go out there. We should do it now before the hunters can get here. New achievement! Insurgent. You left an explosive device along a well-traveled path, and it detonated and killed an intended target. It really was cool. Too bad you didn't get to see it, because you're a trap-leaving bitch! Hey, I said, waving the fat hand. If any of Jaggy's family or friends are watching this, you can go fuck yourselves. Here, I said, handing off a missile launcher to a funeral bell guard. The creature smelled like dirt. Donut had named him Dr. L., for some inexplicable reason. She'd gone through and named the officers and sergeants and would have spent the next hour naming all of them if I hadn't intervened. <laughs> She'd named one Danalo and the other Miss Nance. <laughs> God damn it. I can't, I can't look at this line without smiling. <laughs> Fuck. I handed another missile tube off, this time to a mushroom named Iceman. <laughs> You'll have to reinstitute the naiad and dinosaur rules immediately. We live right on the edge of the river. They are always attacking. Always! He pointed at Mongo. But they're not as bad as the lizards. Those things are the worst. Absolute worst. They're all shapes and sizes, and they're always trying to get into town to eat us. They're all shapes and sizes, and they're always trying to get into town to eat us. And now, now that, and now that, fuck. And now that we're being led by a pagan monkey with a pet dinosaur, we are not protected by the gods. Recital? Donut asked. Why is the quest named that? What does that mean? Uh, I don't know. But maybe you should reinstitute the no dinosaur rule and add an exception for Mongo or something. <laughs> I absolutely will not reintroduce... I absolutely will not reintroduce a racist policy just because it makes a bunch of overgrown teddy bears feel more comfortable. The town is named after a dinosaur, for goodness sake. She turned back to the guard. Now, Miss Nance, where were we? Oh yes, they have fuzzy ears that look like wet dollar store slippers. And they drool all over the place and are famously incontinent. If you see one- No! No! Mongo! Bad! I rushed out through the town gate into the jungle. Oh fuck, oh fuck, and I thought- as I saw the red dots. There were about forty of them, arranged in a semicircle surrounding Donut and Mongo, who were just up ahead. I pushed my way through the foliage into a small clearing. I stopped, dead, taking in the scene. Carl, it's a bunch of Mongos. They're all really high level, Donut whispered, her voice full of fear. Stay on me. Snitch, and then nope. Not without Mongo. And I can't see past the clearing. That little shit is the reason we're here right now, I said, taking another step backward. A branch snapped under my foot, and one of the closest Mongoliensis jerked their head toward us. The lizard eyes blinked, and the head bobbed, chicken-like. Mongo continued to growl. One of the raptors took a tentative step into the clearing, stopping about twenty feet away. 
This was a particularly large velociraptor, battle-scarred and vicious-looking. This is Kiwi, the head bitch in charge of the jungle's fastest, most vicious, most clever predators, the Mongoliensis. Take a gang of women convicts from a 1970s prison movie, combine them with a coalition of cheetahs and a shoal of hangry piranhas, and you have a vague notion of just how screwed you are. This particular pack is comprised of only females. In fact, it appears all the dinosaurs in the area are female. That's pretty odd. Almost interesting. And here's an even more interesting, seemingly random, but probably important fact. Dinosaur-class monsters didn't exist in the area before Scolopendra's nine-tier attack. Yet here they are. Where did they come from? If you weren't about to die screaming, it would be something you might want to look into. Warning! This is a lizard-class mob. It will inflict 20% more damage against you thanks to your extinction sigil. And yes, I know dinosaurs aren't really lizards if we're being super technical. Get over it. All of the other mongos ranged in level from 30 to 45. I think I, I, think I have an idea of what's going to happen. I think mongo's going to get super duper laid. Donut, I said, taking another step back. Do it. Cast snitch. Mongo. Donut hissed, ignoring me. Come away. Come to mommy. Mongo d <laughs> He's trying to do a British Carl there. Mongo didn't respond. Carl, we need to throw an invisibility potion at him. Kiwi suddenly raised her head into the air and made a loud, terrifying barking noise. It was like a seal mixed with a monstrous amount of distortion. I know exactly what he's talking about. <coughs> ah, well, not quite there. <coughs> there we go. It's a little bit better. Let me uh, cup it. Uh, almost there. Mm, that wasn't it either. There we go. That's the one. It's. I mean, it's not quite exactly what I wanted, but I mean, it's it's basically in the range I want. The ground shook with the call. You have been deer in the headlighted. You can't move from your position for 15 seconds. Mongo lifted his head and made a similar noise. Then all of the raptors started barking and howling. Still, none moved toward us. I tried to take another step back. I could move my arms and cast spells, but my legs were firmly bolted in place. Damn it. We were so damn close. The fronds of jungle leaves brushed against the back of my head. I could now see the twin white dots of the town guards. They were only thirty feet away, just standing there. God damn it! Invisibility potion, now! I drank one down. At that moment, Mongo and Kiwi both leaped at the same time, slamming into one another in midair like a car collision. Donut, who was still visible, pulled back like she was attempting to jump off my shoulder and into the fray. I pulled the hobgoblin disco ball as Mongo and Kiwi curled around each other like a pair of snakes, hitting the ground and rolling. All around us, the other Mongos howled and screamed, but none moved to attack. In fact, I realized, they were all starting to move away, stepping back into the jungle. They still screamed, louder than ever. All around us, additional sounds rose. A flock of birds burst into the air. Monkeys I hadn't even known were there suddenly erupted above us in the canopy, their screeches and cries adding to the cacophony. The trees above us shook, and a rain of little pink and red flowers fell from the air. Only five more seconds, and then I was going to drop the disco ball, wrap Donut in my arms, and run. But just as my paralysis ended, I paused. I felt my chin drop. Holy shit. Carl. Carl, what are they doing? What are they doing? Mongo and Kiwi were not fighting. <laughs> Mongo and Kiwi 
were not fighting. They were doing the opposite of fighting. Uh, I said, finally able to take a step back. My leg felt like it was asleep, but it let me move. I looked warily at the map. All of the other red dots had moved back, but not too far. I think we need to give them some privacy. Carl, do something! You, dinosaur, get off my baby! Kiwi was face down, backside up, tail to the side with Mongo mounted behind her. Mongo made a throaty gurgling noise as he slammed into her over and over. Oh, she's getting him off all right. That's not funny, Carl! He's too young! We haven't even had the talk yet! She's taking advantage of him! Mongo! Mongo! <laughs> Donut, we gotta get out of here. She's going to attack us as soon as they're done. Mongo will be okay. Haven't you ever watched Animal Planet, Carl? She's going to eat his head! Mongo! Stop that this instant! Stop it now! <laughs> <laughs> Mongo lifted his head into the air and howled joyfully as he continued to jackhammer into Kiwi like a drunken sailor on his first liberty at a foreign brothel. He lifted his wings and started flapping them up and down like he did when he was a little baby. His tail swished back and forth. This is all your fault, Carl! This is all your fault, Carl! Carl, goddammit. This is all your fault, Carl! Mongo, come back! Come back to Mommy! She moved as if to jump toward them, and I grabbed onto her. How is this my fault? I asked, taking another step back. You're a terrible influence. He certainly didn't get this from me. You and all your constant sex talk has turned him into a pervert. Kiwi let out a loud, satisfied hissing noise. She'd lowered her head all the way to the ground and was also flapping her arm wings. She wiggled her butt as Mongo continued to hump away. His grunts were getting faster and faster. She's too old and gross for him, Carl. I'm going to hit her with a magic missile. Look, her dot is still red. She is going to attack us when this is done. And if she does, Mongo will defend you, and she'll probably hurt him. If we go back to the safety of town, Mongo won't be forced to fight for us. Uh, what if she uses her evil horse sex magic to lure him for... <laughs> Straight face, straight face. <laughs> what if she uses her evil horse sex magic to lure him away forever? Like, what if those school teacher ladies? <laughs> <clears throat> we'll deal with it if it happens, I said, pulling us into the fronds. I could still see the other red dots just on the other side of the clearing. They could easily catch us, but none were moving in our direction. Yet. We had to hurry. Mongo! Come back to Mommy as soon as you're done! Donut called, defeated. I turned and jogged back to the town's entrance, still clutching on to Donut. As soon as he gets back, he's going into his cage and I'm turning the no-dinosaur rule back on. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hopefully Mongo gets an achievement from the system AI for Donut. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, shit. My face hurts. Fuck you, Matt. <laughs>